Well, we've all been there. You're excited to buy those tickets mm -hmm. for a concert or a sporting event. But when you go to check out, the additional fees make those tickets really expensive. Well, today, Congress was questioning execs from the big ticket brokers. Our Sean Chitness reports the fees are a serious obstacle for Coloradans hoping to attend events. Music lovers have an ongoing supply of shows to see week after week. I'm going to show multiple shows every month, so I'm looking to buy tickets very frequently. But it's not clear that the demand requires the high prices they pay. Prices that include fees which aren't revealed until you check out online. They aren't very convenient when you can't afford them. Madeline Dunn is always looking for a good deal on concerts on her phone or at the computer. But she says sometimes the fees keep her from ever making it to the venue. You can no longer afford to go to the show, which is a big bummer because Colorado is such a huge state for music. Today, executives from the major players in the industry, including Ticketmaster, StubHub, and AXS, testified in D.C. Put yourself in the customer's shoes. Look at at it through the customer's eyes. And I think if you do that, you wouldn't be in front of this panel today. Colorado Congresswoman Diana DeGette oversaw the hearing, focusing not only on fees and ticket resales, but also customer privacy. It's hard to budget the right amount. It's an effort the Colorado legislature considered a few years back. But eliminating all fees could affect nonprofits that benefit from that revenue. Still, customers say it shouldn't hurt their ability to support local music and venues. Colorado is a state for music lovers, so I really feel like we should be supported in that. If now, customers, of course, say buying tickets on their computer or even on their phone is a lot better than waiting in line outside of the venue. But Congress is still focused on the price. A couple years ago, they were able to pass legislation that prevented someone from buying a lot of tickets at once and then selling them at a higher price. Now, Congress is looking at new legislation that would consider the transparency and regulation needed in the industry. Reporting live tonight, Sean Chitness covering Colorado first.